All right, so that was our second foray into Lorado. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We did yeah. too. We don't want to spend a ton of time on going back to the previous sets right now because we have, again, a ton of new sets that we want to try out and That's we true. want to show you guys. So mm -hmm. that we just wanted to take a quick peek back at Lorado since, you know, we just went on vacation and we wanted to do something kind of fun and easy when we got yeah. back. So, and we also heard that there were a couple of changes made and we wanted to see what that was like. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and if you remember, last time we raided Lorado with our cats rating system. <laughs> our for, patented cats rating of system. Of <laughs> course. For C for complexity, it got a B. For awesomeness A, it got a B. Yep. And for tran T for translation, it got an A. Yep. And then oh, satisfaction, overall satisfaction, it got a B. So let's just go through those real quick and talk about them again. So for C for complexity with a B, yeah, I think we're going to keep that where it was. And mm. since, do you agree with that, Abby? I agree with that. Since, you know, the complexity is mostly brought about by the straight mechanic and also the the now named loaded mechanic of the set, which just puts the, uh. the charge counters on the equipment that I'm still really just not a fan of. Like, I don't get me wrong, I loved the uh, our combo in the our deck with like the double barrel spell gun and removing the counters, but... Yeah, that was really brutal. You could do this just as much fun and easily without this loaded mechanic that's just really kind of bringing down the set's um, complexity and kind of just giving it this baggage that it doesn't need. Like, just have it be like tap enchanted creature, deals three damage to target creature, doesn't untap during its next untap step. Or just tap the spell gun itself, so that way you can still like tap the gun, like you use the gun, and the creature can still attack, which would be kind of cool as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I get the loaded, I get the, you know, the the thinking behind it. It's very flavorful in, in terms of a Wild West themed set, but it just doesn't really work out. But here's the thing, the flavor, just having guns is more than enough of a flavor like bullet to the face yeah you know? i guess because for lack of a better magic phrase. official magic never does guns so just having the guns as equipment just by itself i think is more than enough i don't think we need this loaded mechanic to bring extra baggage with it so okay. that's my only complaint with complexity for awesomeness which we gave a b before um yeah i think that still seems about right i mean for me i what brought it down before was like you know it seemed like you had to be very aggressive in mm. order to be in the set and that was that's fine since a, almost all the mechanics in the set push toward aggression and i think that's still mostly true although we saw that this time you don't necessarily have to just be an aggro deck you can be a tempo deck yeah and hey. still win <laughs> so i would to bring up the awesomeness for me i would like to see just a bit more not necessarily the aggro toned down since i think warband isn't really that powerful i like warband yeah warband's fine i don't i don't think it's super strong but i'd like just a few more um ways that were pushed to be a bit of a slower deck where you're rewarded for being a slower deck. A bit yeah, more. well, I, I mean, for me, uh, of course, I like aggressive decks, and I think I might have given the set an A uh, in the previous video, maybe. Mm. I don't really remember, but I'd still give it an A now. <laughs> I, I, you know, I didn't even play an aggressive deck either, and I still had a great time. Fair enough. So. All right, and as for translation, how well does this translate Wild West stuff mm. into Magic cards? Pretty good. Still obviously an A. That's fantastic. It not only does it translate Wild West into cards very well, it gives it its own identity as Lorado exactly. as well, with like the the Avens with the birds and everything, and it's just the gambling, it's just fantastic. It's beautifully very good. done. And again, it's very tasty. Very tasty. And then finally, S for satisfaction. We gave it a B last time, meaning that, yeah, you know, we would definitely want to draft it again. And hey, we did draft it again. We did. So, I mean, point. does that mean we should raise the... I think I, we, I gave it a B before. I think I'd give it a B plus. Because I, I would, would too. I would definitely mm -hmm. like to draft it again. And I'm, I, if you if you wanted to draft it again right now, I'd be happy to. Oh, yeah, I would totally do it again, too. But I don't think I'd want to do it again more than once or twice because, again, it seems like the format is really based around tempo and aggro. And while that's perfectly fine, I just want to be rewarded a bit more for strategies that aren't that necessarily, at common and uncommon. I mean, there's a few cool rares like Appleseed Ghoul that kind of are just like value and whatever, but those are rares. And, you know, I Zombie just, Appleseed. Yeah, I want a few more. There seemed like... Like, when we were drafting Abby's deck, she has a ton of three drops in it, like Briar Rabbit here, or the... Um, yeah, that was the, brutal. The Avon Deputy. I mean, her deck was just, like, mono three drops, and there was no good real, like, four drops or two drops in green or blue. And I feel like if there was a few more defensive uh, drops in those colors, maybe that would go a little bit of a ways to making it feel like it's just a slightly more deep, and there's a few more things to do with the draft. Mm. But still, even as it is, 
I love it a lot. B plus for satisfaction. Would happily draft it again sometime. And I Absolutely. urge you all guys to check it out too. And as always, let us know if there's any sets that you want us to check out next. We have another set in mind for next time that will be a lot of fun to look at. Hope you guys like it. What is it? You'll find out then. Oh, it's a secret. All right. <laughs> See you later. See ya.